Hello everyone, Custo Christopher VFX here. Today I'm going to be showing you the easiest and best way to create great looking liquid textures using Maya. So here I have a real flow mesh that I created for this tutorial, and it should really show the enhancements made from this texturing process. So once we have our imported mesh or whatever object you will be using for this effect, we're going to next go over to Create, and under Lights we're going to select Environment Image, or IBL Light. The IBL light will act as our environment for the environmental reflections that come off of the real flow mesh. Once we've created our IBL light, we're going to apply the HDR image we've downloaded to use as the environment. You can find where I got my HDR images in the description below. So we're going to click on this little folder icon, navigate to the folder which your HDR image is held, click on the HDR image, press open. Now that we've loaded our HDR image, we can begin the texturing process. So I'm going to rotate my HDR image around a little bit just to give you that nice blue background. Zoom in a little bit. Next we're going to go over to Hypershade. Click on that. And it's going to open up this window. So what we're going to do next is that in this little menu over here we're going to choose Bifrost liquid material. Click it once and we have now created the material. So for instance say we want a nice crystal blue clear water. What I'm going to do is that I'm not going to click a color under reflection because that's going to change the reflection color. I'm going to go down to diffuse. We're going to click on this, drag it over to a nice blue tone, click off, and then we're going to right click on our object or our mesh, assign existing material, bifrost liquid material. Now in order to render this out we have to use the mental ray renderer and voila! You get a very nice clear blue liquid texture. Now let's say we wanted to create oil. We're going to go back to our hypershade window. We're going to go down here. We're going to leave reflection as is going to go down to diffuse. We're going to change this to black. Next we're going to go up and we are going to turn down transparency. So kind of counterintuitive but the higher the value the more transparent, lower the value the less transparent. So we're going to make this almost transparent then we can render this out again. And there you have a nice looking oil texture. Alright, so now, finally, let's say we want to make some blood. What we're going to do is we're going to change this over to a nice dark red. We're going to bring up the transparency just a little bit. And then we're going to render it out. And look at that, you've got a nice looking blood texture. Alright, so now let's say we want to make this into a stock footage effect. This is a little bit tricky, but not too hard. We're going to go over to Polygons under the Polygons tab. We're going to create a polygon. And then we are going to rotate this towards the camera. Under Attribute Editor, we are going to change the subdivision's width and height to 1 and one. And then we're going to scale this up. Maybe rotate it a little bit more towards the camera and move it so it's not cutting off any of the mesh. What you want to make sure not to do is to say if you flip this around it suddenly has a black backside. And what this means is that there's technically no face there, so there is no information, and if you render this out, it's going to look really weird. So make sure to have the gray side facing you at first. From there, we're going to go back to our hypershade window. Then we're going to click Surface Shader. And with the plane selected, we're going to right click, assign existing material, Surface Shader. 
So now we have a perfectly black background, which is great for keying and all different kinds of compositing purposes. And if we render this out, you can see that our liquid texture is still being affected by the environmental surroundings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to mess around with it too. There's an infinite number of possibilities regarding how many different types of liquid textures you can make with this, so be sure to experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please think about giving it a like and subscribing, seeing other cool content on my channel. And last but not least, if you guys want to check out my website, QstoChristopherVFX.com, a lot of cool stock footage effects on there for very cheap pricing. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day.